Hey, stop. What are you doing? Don't mess up my house. Ouch. What are you doing? I've been suffering from severe morning sickness since I got pregnant. Even on this day, I couldn't hold it during a meal and ended up throwing up. Suddenly, my husband kicked me hard in the back. Honestly, it's really disgusting. Clean up the mess you made and get out right away. I'm Lily, working as a web designer. My husband, Lucas, has a job and is about to head to work. Well then, I gotta go. Yeah, take care. Do your best. Oh, thanks. Good luck with your work too, Lily. Yeah. And with that, Lucas left for work. Well then, I need to work hard too. While both of us working, we also enjoy happy days as a married couple. After being married for a while and happily living together as a couple, one day we received some joyful news. Hey, Lucas, guess what? Why are you so excited? What happened? Something good? Today, I felt unwell, so I went to the hospital. And guess what? They said congratulations. Really? What is it? Yeah, I'm pregnant. We're going to have a baby. Is it true? Awesome. Lily, thank you. OMG, I'm so excited. Hee <laughs> hee, oh Lucas. Lucas was thrilled when he learned about my pregnancy. I felt grateful for his joy. I was sure that we could support each other until the day of the delivery and beyond. However, a few months after learning about the pregnancy, I noticed that something was off with Lucas. Hey, Lucas? Huh? What's up? Well, I've been wondering about your work lately. It's nothing, just normal. If that's the case, then it's fine. But there have been some odd moments lately, and I can't help but wonder if something's going on. There's nothing. Just leave me alone. It's fine if there's nothing. Sorry for asking something strange. As if the kindness before was a lie, suddenly, he became cold and distant, his attitude towards me turning chilly. That's not all. Along with the pregnancy, there were days when I didn't feel well, and there were times when I couldn't manage to do housework and cleaning. Hey, why is this room so messy? Oh, sorry. I haven't had a chance to clean that area yet. Can't you even clean properly? Seriously. I'm sorry. But now, with the pregnancy, there are times when I can't manage housework like before. It would be really helpful if Lucas could help out, too, you know? Huh? Why do I have to do that? If you handled things properly, it wouldn't be an issue. Well, there are days when I don't feel well these days. Oh, come on, shut up. Stop making excuses all the time. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. As housework and cleanings were neglected, he started making sarcastic remarks. Moreover, despite explaining the difficulties during pregnancy and asking him for help, there was no positive response, and he made me do everything. And that's not the only thing. Hey, Lucas. I was wondering if you could come with me to the next checkup. Huh? Why do I have to go? Well, because... I feel more conformable if you be there, Lucas. Don't be so depend on me, I won't go to such a place, it's embarrassing. It's not embarrassing at all. Other pregnant women have their husbands accompany them, you know? Shut up. I have my own way of doing things. Saying that, he refused to go to the maternity clinic with me. Hey, today I got an ultrasound picture taken. And? What's the big deal? Well, it looked like this. What's the point? You don't need to show me that. 
don't say that. Just take a quick look, please. Uh, you're so persistent. I don't want to see it. I see. Sorry for bothering you about it. Even I showed him the ultrasound picture, he started to find it annoying. What have I done? While pondering on this, one day, as I got into the car with Lucas to go shopping, I noticed a scent coming from the seat. What's this? Women's perfume, maybe? But why? I don't usually use perfume. Yet, why would the scent of women's perfume come from the seat? I don't want to think about it, but that seems to be the only reason. The more I thought about it, the suspicions toward Lucas within me kept growing. Since then, I wanted to try to talk to Lucas somehow, but I could not do that. I thought about working it out, but it was not easy to do so. Lucas had an attitude that made it difficult for me to approach. Hey, you. Don't hog all the space like that, you're in the way. You don't have to say it like that. Shut up. Instead of waiting for me to say it, you should just move and clear the space I use. You're really just a burden. Why does he have to say such things? How Lucas teats me was getting worse day by day, and I felt myself being pushed to the limit mentally. Also, there were physical changes during pregnancy. Ugh, I feel sick, vomiting, what's wrong with you? That's gross, don't puke. I understand. I was experiencing tightness and hardship. Until now, I didn't want to bother Lucas. So I had been making an effort not to be noticed. However, on this day, for the first time, I unintentionally showed him where I felt like vomiting. I felt sorry for showing that, but even when Lucas saw it, he seemed not care, and I also felt a sense of sadness. However, thinking it would be unacceptable to cause Lucas more trouble, I tried to endure it, but... Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Reaching the limit of my endurance, I vomited in front of Lucas. Ha, huh, sorry. I felt sorry for showing Lucas that I was vomiting. Just as I was about to apologize to Lucas and clean up the vomit. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Don't mess up my house. Ouch. That hurts. Instead of showing concern for me even in such a moment, he did the opposite. Kicking my back, who was suffering from vomiting, was just. Honestly, it's really disgusting. Clean up the mess you made and get out of here right away. To be yelled at like that. In that moment, I felt like something snapped inside me. Fine, I get it. I'll clean up everything and leave right away. When I said that, Lucas showed a satisfied expression. Ah, I see. Well, that's fine then. I'll feel better when the annoying one is gone. Honestly, you just keep getting on my nerves. I'm going to go on a vacation to relax. I'll be back in three days. Oh, really? Do whatever you want. And then, Lucas left in a good mood. After Lucas left, cleaned up the vomit and then contacted my parents. Hello? It's rare for Lily to call us. Is something wrong? Mom, I'm sorry to bother you like this. Is Dad or Carter around? I need something transported, and I was hoping to use the pickup truck. When I said that, my mother asked with concern, so I explained while trying to maintain composure. I explained that Lucas' attitude had become cold since I became pregnant, and that I had suspicions about Lucas, and that I had been kicked in the back while I was suffering from morning sickness. What on earth is going on? I can't forgive Lucas. Okay, I'll ask Dad or Carter for help. Mom, thank you. I'm sorry for making you worry. My brother, who heard the story from Mom, came with the pickup truck. Carter, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's no big deal. 
Let's just get it done quickly. Yes, let's do that. Moving everything at once might be difficult, right? It would be great if we could move as much as possible at the one time. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm always here to help, so just let me know when you want to do it. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. With my brother's help, we loaded as many household as much as possible and completed the move. Furthermore, I changed all payments except for the mobile phone to be in Lucas' name. There was a reason for doing that. Lucas had conveniently arranged for all expenses, such as utilities, car loans, and rent, to be contracted in my name. Even though we had agreed to split the payments, when payment due comes, he insisted that the contract holder should pay and didn't contribute much money. Three days later, as I was finishing the remaining moving tasks, Lucas returned from his trip came to see me. Hey, what's going on? Why is the house empty? I'm just moving the things I paid for myself. You have no right to complain. You, are you kidding me? Lucas got angry and tried to confront me. But he noticed the person behind me and seemed confused. It was my brother. He had been helping with the move that day, and being a member of the sports club, he was quite muscular. Perhaps Lucas felt that if he caused a scene here, my brother would restrain him? What's going on? Don't you have something to say? Uh, well, you know. And also, I'm going to divorce with you. What? Why? You treated me like I was always in your way, didn't help with anything around the house, and on top of that, you abused me. I can't be with someone like that anymore. I'm sorry about that. And that's not the only thing. I know about other things you've been doing. What are you talking about? Who knows? Maybe you should ask your own conscience. Don't joke around. If you have something to say, say it clearly. And then, Lucas tried to press me for answers, but... Enough! My brother, who had been quietly helping with the move up to this point, must have reached his limit with Lucas' persistence. He glared sharply and scolded Lucas. And then, Lucas seemed to completely back off. Damn it! Fine, we'll get a divorce. Is that what you want, right? Saying that and throwing out some parting words, he agreed to the divorce. Carter, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's no big deal. But man, what a troublesome guy. Yeah, really. My brother and I were both disgusted by Lucas' actions this time, and we sighed. Nevertheless, since he agreed to the divorce, I guess it's a step forward, right? Also, I informed Lucas that I knew about his affair. In fact, I hired a private investigator during his trip, and when the results came in, his affair was exposed. So, on another day, we were able to have a discussion, involving the person he cheated with. I already know everything, you know. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Uh, come on. Can't you cut me some slack? Please, ma'am. I can't afford any compensation. No. You did it to yourselves, so you'll have to pay for it. Ugh, I'm sorry. I understand. Damn it, okay I will pay if that is what you want. Although he seemed dissatisfied, he might finally realize that he can't win. Both of them agreed to pay the compensation. And then, there was one more thing I wanted to ask Lucas. Hey, why did you suddenly become cold and distant after I got pregnant, even though you were kind at first? That's because... Lisa told me to. When Lucas said that, his mistress reacted with a very anxious reaction. Hey, Lucas, what are you saying? What's the matter? It's the truth, isn't it? You said when the baby is born, our life will be destroyed by Lily and the child, didn't you? 
Ah! Oh. Exposed everything by Lucas, his mistress must have realized that there was no more room for deception. The mistress hung her head. And you took what she said seriously? Both of you the same. Manipulated by the mistress and changed his attitude so drastically. I was so disappointed. I wondered why I married someone like that, but I also felt relieved that we had separated. Two months after the divorce was finalized. Out of the blue, I received a call from Lucas. Hello. What do you want? Hey, why are bills for utilities and car loans coming to me? What are you talking about? We're already divorced, and you're the only one living in that house. It's common sense that those things to be in your name. Life changes after divorce. Things related to Lucas' life are in Lucas' name, and it's normal that he has the obligation to make payments, but... Why is that? You're the one who signed the contract, so shouldn't you be the one paying? If we were still living together in that house, I might consider paying. But since I don't live there anymore, I won't pay. Well, well then, just come back for now. I refuse. I'm absolutely done living with you. I was astounded by what he was saying. And then. What did you say? Hey, you. Don't mess around. Of all things, now he was getting mad at me. Who's messing around? Cut it out. Don't depend on me. Shut up. You've been paying all this time, so even if you will keep paying, it won't affect you at all. Just pay it. No. I absolutely won't pay. When I firmly refused, now. Lily, please. There's no way I can afford this amount. He's either getting defensive or trying to play the sympathy card. What a busy man. As a web designer, I make a lot of money, so I've been able to make the payments without any issues. Lucas had no interest in my job, eh? And even if he did, we never discussed details about income. So, it's natural that he wouldn't know how much I make. However, if he had kept the initial agreement to split the payments, he would have known how much I needed for living expenses. Maybe he would have been interested. Yet, he kept making excuses and passing everything on to me, and now it's coming back to haunt him. Thinking that this was Lucas's own fault, I spoke to him like pushing him away. I don't care about that. You'll have to figure it out yourself. Wait. Come on, wait. Over the phone, Lucas seemed to be shouting something, but I ignored it and hung up. A few days later, perhaps realizing that calling wouldn't work, Lucas came to my parents' house. Lily, please. I want to start over again. There's only Lily for me. What was he thinking? I never expected for him to ask me to get back together. What are you talking about? This is not a joke. Getting back together is absolutely out of the question. Don't say that. I'm really begging you. No matter how you put it, in the end, you just want me to cover your living expenses, don't you? Well, that's not. What's not? Just say it clearly. Saying convenient things is pointless. Lucas's true intentions are crystal clear. I firmly refused. And does Lucas forget? That this is my parents' house. In other words, besides me, there are also my parents and brother. As I glanced, all three of them had angry expressions and were approaching Lucas. Enough is enough, how much trouble are you going to cause Lily before you're satisfied? That's right. We won't allow you to further distress Lily. Just leave already. The angered parents made it clear to Lucas. Ben, Kate, please wait. Let me talk to Lily. You have no right to call me mother-in-law. I feel the same. 
You have no right to call me father-in-law. Just get out. Hey, Carter, get him out. Yeah, I got it. Oh, come on, stop. Lily, please listen to me. Lucas resisted until the end, but it seems he couldn't win against my brother's strength. In this way, my brother successfully chased Lucas away, and I was relieved. Thank you all. Lily, don't worry. Just focus on yourself and the well-being of your child. Mom's right. I was surprised by Lucas, and I'm worried what if this will happen again, but having my parents and brother around makes me feel relieved. One day, I was out with a friend, chatting in a cafe. This friend works at the same company as Lucas, and I heard the following story there. Lily, it must have been really tough. I never thought Lucas would turn out to be that kind of guy. Yeah, that's what I feel the most. That's right. By the way, after that, Lucas ended up breaking up with Lisa. Huh, really? Yeah. Both of them ran out of money, and that was the reason. Rumors about them spread at the company, making it awkward, and they resigned on their own. Is that so? I didn't really want to hear about Lucas, but when I heard this story from my friend, it was somewhat satisfying. Still, it's the consequences of our own actions. They did it to themselves. And then, on another day, Lucas's parents came to my parents' house with Lucas. This time, our foolish son has caused a lot of trouble, and we sincerely apologize. Lily, we're truly sorry. No, please put your heads up. It's not your fault, so? It's embarrassing to make the parents apologize. But from a parent's perspective, even after a child becomes an adult, the misbehavior of their own child might be a cause for concern. I need to be careful not to make my parents go through such feelings. With that in mind. And this, it's a child support. We know our foolish son won't pay. We're sorry for this, but please accept it. I also ask you to accept this from me. Please take it. Um, thank you very much for your kindness. I never expected to receive child support from Lucas's parents. I had intended to ensure the child support was paid, but considering I couldn't rely on Lucas, I expected there might be some arguments later on. So, I was somewhat surprised that Lucas's parents paid, but I felt very grateful. When Lucas's parents confirmed that I took the child support, they turned to Lucas and spoke up. And also, Lucas, what? We're cutting ties with you from now on. Of course, I share the same sentiment as Dad. Wait, if you guys abandon me, who am I supposed to rely on to? In this way, Lucas was abandoned and estranged even by his own parents. At his age, relying on someone else to survive? I can't believe it. Although Lucas's parents are respectable individuals, how did Lucas end up like this? It makes me think that raising a child to become a respectable adult is indeed challenging. However, for the child that will be born soon, I want to ensure they don't turn out like Lucas by showering them with love and proper upbringing. After that, my life returned to normal, and I entered the final month of pregnancy. Lily, are you okay? Don't push yourself too hard. Oh, I'm fine. You both worry too much, haha. <laughs> Dad and Mom are really looking forward to having their first grandchild. But sis, seriously, don't be hard on yourself. If anything happens, just let us know. Yeah, thanks. Thus, with the support of the whole family, she was able to safely give birth. Lily, congratulations. You did so well. Sis, I'm so happy for you. He slash she's really adorable. Looks like I've finally become a grandpa, <laughs> The child, born with everyone's blessings, was truly adorable. 
I'm truly grateful for the family that supported me this far and for this child that was born to us. And I have a reliable family by my side. I won't carry everything on your own. When I'm in trouble, I will consult with my family and support each other. Let's protect and raise my beloved child together. With that vow in my hearts, I take the first step into a new life.